downed trees, homes destroyed, and of course lives changed forever. Well, this morning, parts of the south are trying to figure out what's next after multiple tornadoes hit the region. In the Midwest, people are bracing for major flooding along the Mississippi River, the second highest on record in some areas. Here's ABC's Andrew Dimber. This morning, parts of the Florida Panhandle facing a major cleanup after multiple tornadoes. Shelter now, shelter now. Not a question, do it now. You got a tornado moving in your direction. The National Weather Service reporting an extremely dangerous tornado hit near Tallahassee. And these homes in Hosford, Florida destroyed. Their roofs ripped off, trees snapped in half. An hour away in Panama City Beach, at least one person was struck by lightning. Hail pounding down on the area. Other parts of the state hit by massive hail one day earlier. Golf ball sized hail also pounding parts of Georgia, knocking out power. The same storm system brought four inch hail to Dublin, Texas Wednesday. Livestock running for cover. We're learning more about two boys nearly killed in a lightning strike in Fort Worth. I thought I had lost my boys, honestly. That was the worst feeling you can ever. What happened? Security video captured neighbors running to help after 13 year old Jaden and his seven year old brother were standing near a tree hit by lightning. It knocked them both unconscious, and doctors believe it briefly stopped Jaden's heart. It went black. I woke up in an ambulance, and I guess I fell asleep, and I woke up here. Apparently, I died last night and came back to life. As those storms head toward the northeast today, the Midwest is watching the rising Mississippi River, fed by melting snow, turning streets into rivers in towns like Moline, Illinois, and Davenport, Iowa. And this video shows homes underwater in southwest Wisconsin. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.